you go up against the top team in the AHL from the regular season, four games, pushing pretty hard. How do you guys feel like it went tonight? Yeah, I mean, obviously we wanted to be playing uh, Sunday night, and you know things didn't go the way we wanted it. Um, you know, I thought I thought we played them hard all year, and uh, I'm sure that's uh, a test uh, for them. That might be the, the best team they've played all year is playing us. Uh, so I think as a group, you know, it's it's amazing what we accomplished this year and the work we put in. Um, the bonds and friendships we made were were crazy, and, and you know, we just we wanted to keep building and keep playing. But you know, that's the way it goes. And there's leaders on this team that are older and younger. How important is it for those younger guys to experience what they just saw over the playoffs here? Yeah, you know, obviously everyone bought in. You know, we didn't uh, get here and, and play these games, the meaning meaningful games of the season and playoffs. Um, Everyone bought in, like like I've said, and you know we just we just built as a group, and you know the young guys carried themselves, uh, you know, great this year. Obviously, uh, when when you have a team who, who comes this far and plays hard, and leaders, Wadi, whoever, you know, the guys uh, leading the way every night, just playing their bags off. I think it was uh, a great year as a group, and obviously it uh, finished too early for us. I think. Where would you rank the season for yourself personally? Like you've had some good time in Vancouver, good time here. Like, uh, would this be one of your like your most successful season probably overall yeah i mean that's yeah. it's hard to say i think uh yeah i think i had a, a pretty solid year but obviously uh you know i'll take time to, to think about how that went here in the next next little bit and right now it just just sucks the finish that we had but uh you know it was one of the the most fun groups i've had uh, to play with and the, the friendships and bonds and, and everything were really really good this year talk about buying in and with a new coach coming in this year, was it you guys have to buy in a little bit differently? What can you say about what Jeremy brought to this group this year? Yeah, I think obviously uh, you guys know he's he's calm and composed and and, and brings that every day. Um, and I think he had a, a great approach of of talking to the to the younger guys, the older guys, whoever it may be, and just uh, gaining everyone's respect right away. And I think that helped with obviously the the leadership as well. You know, it was a, a big thing for us was just making sure we're all on the same page every night and then playing the way that uh, Jeremy wanted us to. Feels like around this organization, we've heard structure, structure, structure so much. How good did you guys feel about just your defensive structure? There's a lot of periods this season where two shots against, three shots against. How important was that to build that structure? Yeah, I mean, we built it up from from day one of uh, in camp uh, in Van, and then in, when we went into uh, Poco, we had whatever it was, five or six days there. And I think uh, as a group, we bought in right there and knew, you know, obviously it was a little different. We weren't coming back to Ab. We were going to Poco and, and doing a little training camp there. Um, but I think that helped us, us right away, just got the feel of uh, the group and the game and, and so on. Can you uh, put your finger on what may have tilted the series one way or the other? No, I mean, right now it's just, it's just tough the way that we uh, ended this one. Um, obviously we're up and, and lost the lead and, and they scored again. Um, but, I, but, you know, as a group, you know, you always want to move on. So it's, it's tough to put your finger on one thing. You've seen a lot of hockey, I'm sure, in your time at Abbotsford. Yeah. Is this the best you've ever seen hockey be supported by this? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, obviously, I've been here when the Heat were here and, and whatnot, and, you know, the fan base was whatever, 2,500, 3,000 a night. And, you know, to go into uh, game four with the sold-out barn in Abbey in the playoffs, is there's no better feeling. I mean, the fans are hardworking people who, who show up every night and bring the same energy to every game. So it was amazing for us this year. What can you take from all the stuff you've done gone through this year and put it in for next year to even come back and even win this second series? Yeah, I think next year, you know, we, we know what it takes now um, to, to move on. And uh, we did it the buy-in round or whatever it is there. Um, and obviously, they're, they're the top seed team and they're a good team. But I think, you know, we, we were in every game. There wasn't a blowout. There wasn't anything uh, that set each team apart. You know, we had chances. They had chances. And, you know, we just didn't get that one bounce that we needed.